ladies and gentlemen here we are welcome back to another video today i'm very excited because we are fishing on a lake that i have never fished on before in my whole entire life and that is the great Dell hollow lake i know i've lived in tennessee my whole life i have fished about everywhere that you can fish in this state from west to east but i have never visited Dell hollow lake but we're here we're here for three four days with mr benjamin nowak mr dirty dirds himself Mr. Caleb Bell, and we're gonna have some fun exploring a brand new lake, breaking it down, and just seeing what kind of craziness this place holds. And for you guys that don't know, World Record Smallmouth came out of this place a long time ago, and honestly, I don't really know if it actually was a world record. And anyway, it came out of here, and that's all that matters, 11 pound smallmouth. And so, this place is known for giant fish, big smallmouth, fishing, you know, so I'm excited. Now we're gonna get out here, we're gonna get after it. We're gonna go find Ben right now, but uh, there's no really telling where he's at because there's a lot of water out here. But we're gonna have some fun today, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have fun for the next few days, and I'm so glad that you guys clicked on this video. And without further ado, let's get in the boat. Let's uh, eat our biscuit. Well, let's get after this thing. That was fun. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Get everything in the hooks here. There you go, guys. That's a pretty fish. Healthy. Lord of mercy, up here in the shallow water. 10 foot on the rig. Heck yeah. Thanks, bud. This is the way I like to fish. What do you L mean? Live scope, looking at some bass, catching them on an A-rig. It's a lot of fun. Smallmouth too. Yeah. yeah. All right guys, so that's it. We're done for, uh, well it wasn't even like a whole day. I, I, we were out here for what, like four hours? I was out here like four hours. Yeah. And yeah, I caught one fish. Hours. I caught one fish and I also discovered that my boat is broke. Um, I guess something, come up on the highway and broke off my depth transducer so yeah i gotta deal with that all week not knowing how deep of water i'm in when i'm uh idling or running or anything like that but you know that's what good mapping's for but there's ben say hi ben hi guys there's dirts hi guys say hi dirts so yeah we're uh, we're done for today we're gonna get back after it tomorrow though and i think right now we're gonna go uh warm up our wieners a little bit um, maybe warm up a wiener and eat it and last time I made a video with you guys we talked about wieners a lot and it offended some people um, what was the word the guy used I think it was debauchery was what he used to describe our wiener oh, conversation describe our fishing that way uh, debauchery yeah probably debauchery. probably that too so yeah we'll uh, see you guys tomorrow morning so here's the deal I told you we were gonna spend three days on Dale Hollow that was a lie every time. The, the, every time the reason that that was a lie is that the high today is freezing literally the, the temperature freezing so 32 degrees and uh yeah we're gonna go drive about two hours south to fish the tail race with 
that man right there. And I think we were yes. both in agreement that the tail race was probably a better idea than Del Hollow when it's 32 uh, yeah. degrees, bright bluebird skies, sunny with zero wind. You know me, I don't care. I don't want to be in shorts either way. <laughs> that's it. So yeah, that's the plan today, guys. Good morning. Here we are. Day two, completely different day. Not staying on Del Hollow, going to the tail race because it is going to be a high of freezing, bright bluebird, sunny <laughs> skies, zero wind on a super clear lake like Del Hollow. It's just going to suck. So we're driving two and a half hours south to fish the tail race. Big home. swim baits, crank baits, jigs, jerk baits, power fishing stuff, the fun kind of stuff. And without further ado, Let's send it. Go ahead, bud. You can get one thrown. I just gotta kind of watch. Oh my god, there we go. Bend net. Oh, he ain't that big. Never mind. He's got me in the current. He just got me in the current. Thought he was big. He ain't. Spot. Sorry, dude, he hit that thing and ran out in the current with it and I lost him. I thought he was a giant. Well, boys and girls, there's number one of the day on the Money Badger. Surprise, surprise, I'm on a Money Badger. <laughs> I know everybody that watches my videos is like, Alex, I'm so tired of you throwing that freaking orange Money Badger. I compute. There was a dude on Instagram the other day commented on the Berkeley's page and said, Alex Rudd is infatuated with the orange one. I would, I would say that that's a, probably a great word to describe how I feel about this orange money badger. <laughs> Infatuated. Really? You go up over these big grass flats and you just wake out of it. There we go. Yep, that, that definitely needs a net. Yeah. If that's a bass, that might not be a bass. Yeah, it is big old small mouth. Yeah. Thanks, bud. He ain't that big, but he's a good one. Thanks, man. Well, yeah. Look at that. God, those fish are so freaking healthy. Man. Look how healthy that fish is, dude. Big fat belly. Look at the tail. That is my favorite part about these river fish, how big their tail is, man. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks, friend. Hell yeah. Dude, he dog stomped that thing. <laughs> I mean, he said, I'm gonna get you. I'll get that big old crawl man. Fish number two on the money badger. This is actually the 7.25 size money badger. This is the big one. This one dives anywhere from uh, 12 to 13 feet. So we're getting down there just a little bit deeper, digging just a little bit harder, knocking just a little bit different. This is actually got a little bit of a rattle in it. So yeah. Can't complain about that. Now, if we could just uh, find that in his big sister, we'll we really be cooking with some peanut oil. Ben, would you like to cook with peanut oil, bud? I would prefer olive, but. Oh, well, aren't you just fancy? I don't even know what that saying means. It's like the other day I posted on Instagram. My papa always used to say, it's a shit eating grin. I just want to know who's eating shit and why are we grinning about it? For real, though. I think well, like, I yeah, I think that, I think that like, I think they're kind of like a wired up. There we go. Oh my God, Ben. Net, buddy. Oh God, that's big. That ain't a bass. There's no way. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Giant smallmouth, bud. Barely got him hooked, too. I gotta watch what I'm doing here. Thank you, sir. Ooh, hey, golly, dude, that's a freaking stud right there. Yeah, are we good in the back end back here, man? Okay, that's a stud. That's a stud. 
Oh, that's a stud right there, bud. There we go. That's a stud right there. Golly, that's a big fish. That's probably a four-younder, maybe. God, that's beautiful, man. Look how pretty that fish is. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Ben, the net, buddy. Huh? Net. Ben? Yep. That's a big one too, bud. Yep. <laughs> His current's changed. That's a large mouth. Or is that a spot? My God, that's a spot. Lord have mercy. She's. Look at that spot. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice spot. <laughs> That's a nice motor. All right. Stay right here for a minute. All right, guys. So I know you're probably asking, Alex, why'd you put those fish in a live well? Well, when the current is ripping as hard as it is right now, you know, I want to take a couple pictures with those fish just because, you know, everybody likes a good fish picture. Um, but when the current's ripping as hard as it is, it's easier just to throw those fish in the live well than try to hit spot lock and um, do everything, you know, while you're in the current whereas when you get in a position where you can stop hit spot lock kind of get your things together retie then you can take a picture of that fish so it's more for our safety and the fish's safety than it is uh like want to keep them and we're not going to keep these fish obviously we're about to put them back in the water but just thought i'd put that out there into the world all right guys there you go beautiful spot beautiful smallmouth go ahead and get that spot back he's a big one i want to do know what it's do want to know what the smallmouth was. I'm going three and some change. What do you think, Ben? All right, did you know like zeros? Three and a half minutes, right on the dot, bud. Heck yeah. Beautiful smallmouth. Thank you, sir. Dude, there's a full dot dot or full Dr. Pepper. Grab that bitch. I mean, that thing is brand new. That's brand new. I'm slowing us down. Huh? Oh, it went under the boat. Get it, Ben. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> do not drink that do not drink that <laughs> oh it's full of water <laughs> oh that's funny I thought you were going to You're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. There you go, bud. Yeah, you're going in the water. Do people play golf on days like today? Huh. God. I can't keep up with it. That's big, I think. He ain't that big, never mind. Dude, it's crazy they hit that freaking thing that hard. I got him. I'll boat flip him. I got him inside the freaking face, too. Here, get that trolley. I want to deal with this boy. I want to deal with this boy. Gosh, crazy. Little buddy. Oh, hey. That is a mean mouth. Look, man. Mean mouth. See? See how he's weird? He's also got a patch on his tongue. Yep. That's a true blue mean mouth right there, folks. That's what happens when a bunch of Coosa River spots start breeding with a bunch of brown fish. One of these days, we ain't going to have no brown fish left. It's going to be hybrids. That's a sad thought. Or is it? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. No. 
uh caleb's gone down there and caught them pretty good I, i've been down there once when the frog bite was on and i mean it was it was good i mean i wouldn't say that it was like you know bonkers or anything but we caught some fish there we go right the freaking bank dude look at him yeah old brown fish look at him he's gonna want to try to jump in a minute look at him look at him <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I need to go a little bit deeper. I catch one literally on the bank. Switch the color up there, boys and girls, because I broke the other one off. I'm a dummy. I got a lot of money badgers in the. Uh, 6.25 in blaze but not many in 7.25 that's my fault especially when you're catching beautiful smallmouth bass like that look how pretty that fish is ben there he is bud nope okay look how pretty he is all right boys and girls like often times i want a taco so we're gonna go get a taco ben you want a taco dude i love me some great tacos <laughs> day three here we are we're loaded up we're back in the cold and it is very cold this morning but we're about to get after it. we're going to Dale hollow lake today we'll be in the boat my buddy mr caleb bell we're gonna throw the float and fly gonna throw the rig gonna throw a small body crankbait we're gonna figure this lake out today and i'm looking forward to it we had a really good day yesterday in the tail race you guys saw that caught some fish and today i'm hoping we have another excellent day out here fishing Dale hollow lake and it's gonna be fun to actually get out here and spend some time on it and see what we can get done. But right now the mission is find a Diet Coke because I really need some caffeine. And uh, then, then we're gonna go get after it. Ben! Ready? All right guys, well, there's another one that you missed. Very, very healthy fish on the jig but you can see how wide he is and that's because i just caught him out of 24 foot of water yeah so back to your home fish back to your home well guys there's been a uh, an elapse of time if you can't tell essentially what happened was me and caleb got after it this morning and, and sucked like royally sucked and so we took a break middle of the day grabbed us some lunch and we've come back out here to finish up afternoon into the evening and we have found some fish about 20 22 foot of water found them uh actually caleb knew about this spot and we came out here and started using 360 and you can actually see them swimming all around us on 360 here so like all of those are fish that's fish those are fish and essentially you know, here's some fish down here essentially these fish are just cycling in and out of this big nothing flat out here you know this is kind of a a winter spot for them this is where they're going to winter this is where they're, where they're going to stay and i mean as you guys have seen those last couple fish have been very very pale and that's because they've essentially been living out here since probably late fall when that first good cold front moved through that pushed them out here and so i'm dragging a little half ounce jig with a little katana crawl on the back barely barely moving it and we're getting a few bites and so we're gonna sit right here we're gonna stay on it because i mean we've got 60 70 fish yeah. literally just swimming laps around us and uh all we have to do is get in front of one of their faces and they normally swim over and eat it so i won't keep on dragging just keep on taking my time it was funny the first fish unfortunately my camera got turned off somehow and you guys didn't see it but i literally was checking facebook and i felt my line just kind of start to tighten up <laughs> and uh i set the hook on him so uh funny funny way to catch him here you go guys here's a school passing right there they're right under the boat so yeah that's what they're doing just moving around sewing around eating crawdads eating bait fish and so we're gonna sit here and just try to keep on keeping on and catch them Yep. 
можно. God, dude, these fish are like golden. They're not even green. They're literally golden. A little jig fish. A little yig. A little yig action there. I got bit right at the boat, dude. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Man, I'm talking. I'm barely moving that thing, buddy. I'm talking just... <laughs> Damn. Did you hear that? Big splashy. Something like top water. There was one. How far was that one away? Okay. Damn. I mean, he went. I don't know how the fuck he didn't get it. I don't know how the fuck they do that. Like, how the hell do they bite something like that? But look, and here they are swimming back under the boat. Look at them. God, dude, look up to him right here. Mm. There he is. <laughs> dude, that's freaking hilarious. That's a good one. Yeah, bud. See that for me? Oh, yeah, look at this one. Oh, look at this one. There you go, Alex. Look at that one. There you go, Woo! There you go Redley. Thank you, buddy. How readily of you. Heck yeah. All right, guys, so this is hilarious. This fish, I threw up there, got him all the way to right beside the boat, and he bit, and I missed him. And then on 360, I see the school of fish, three of them, swim behind the boat. I toss behind the boat, and he eats it. That is freaking... That's cool, first of all. It's scripted. It's like scripted, but second of all... What a fun bite. All right, boys and girls. Let's get that one back in the water. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. That was fun there, bud. Freaking just munched down on it. It's what you did. Ate it real good. A little jiggity jag there. Those are my little uh, katana crawls that I made. Heck yeah. Need to retie that. All right. Yep. Hi. Boom. Boom. Boom shakalaka there, folks. Boom shakalaka. But we got to get out of here. We got water to cover. Let go. What a beautiful way to end the trip. Absolutely gorgeous skies. Wow. Burned out. Buddy, they can't see you. That's okay. But we sent it. We caught some bass. Caleb, bring your light to me. I need your light. There he is. We sent it. We did. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> we sent it. Yes. Boom. We sent it. I see the sun. I can't see your hand. There it is. <laughs> Boys, any last words? No. I had fun. Caught yeah. some bass. Not terrible. <laughs> Let's catch another one tomorrow. Yeah. It didn't Just suck. One. That's for absolutely certain. It didn't. It didn't suck. Okay. We caught some fish. We did catch some fish. There's people over there now. It kind of worries me. Y'all are getting murdered tonight for sure. Those are definitely skinwalkers. Ah! It's probably a 90% chance. That's okay. They probably killed the mouse too. That's outside our place. 93. <laughs>